Okay, so today for Morrissey Friday, we have Home is a Question Mark from his album Low in High School from 2017, I want to say. Um, so it's been a minute since I've done a recent Morrissey song, and this was requested recently as well. So I figured, why not? Let's go, uh, you know, to recent Morrissey and uh, do that and then talk about the song after. So let's just get into it now and let's just go. Feels like Christmas vibes. I have seen many shores. I hug the land. Nothing more Because I haven't met you I've wined and I've dined With every bogus music mogul No sign of you I brush and I run Pressing palms Exuding charm but never in arms And that's why home Is a question mark Home is some place I've been a home Is a question mark Home is some place I've been a I have been brave Just a word, or is it something you carry within you? I'm happy just to be here. If I ever find home, if I ever find home, if I ever find home. Um, so Morrissey, home is a question mark. Uh, so like, uh, you know, just going off what you, you know, what I just heard at the end there. I mean, vocally, this was quite the performance for Morrissey. His voice, you know, I was thinking, um, obviously, again, this being like recorded five years ago from uh, earlier, whatever now, uh, being 2022 when I record this, um, uh, you know, he has a lot of more, I don't know, something, you, obviously, his voice has changed from uh, you know, the 80s and the 90s and all that stuff. I don't know. It's just like he has more, 
uh, it's like a heavier kind of a voice. I don't know what it is. It's just something like that. And, uh, you know, he has some, you know, grace in his voice. He's always had, I guess, a graceful voice, but here as well. And uh, especially like, yeah, with that high note at the end, you know, a big crescendo. I mean, it's just uh, vocally and also I have to say, you know, instrumentally as well, uh, talking especially about the drums here. Uh, and on Wikipedia, anyway, uh, the only uh, for the personnel for the whole album, it doesn't have just for the song, but the whole album, there's many uh, people on the album, uh, but there's only one drummer, apparently, Matthew Ira Walker. I, well, I, yeah, so Matthew Ira Walker. Uh, but I have to say here, um, you know, the pounding of the drums, you know, especially... Uh, like I said at the start, it was almost like a, a Christmas kind of a sound, like jingling bells. And it was just like, I was just like, oh, it's kind of Christmassy. And then the drums came in, started pounding. Uh, and especially, you know, uh, near the end of the song, I guess you would say, um, almost like a marching band kind of a sound, uh, kind of a beat, whatever. Uh, and I don't know, I just a lot of, uh, yeah, just very powerful drums, I thought as well. Um, and it really, you know, just really helped propel Morrissey's voice to uh sound even stronger i guess or whatever and i mean the string arrangements here as well beautiful the whole song and i know as well uh people talking you know when this was requested in the comments and of course when looking it up uh i see on like reddit and, <laughs> and like morrissey you know pages all this stuff that this song is uh you know one of if not a lot of people's favorite from this album and uh, I remember listening to one other song from this album, I think it was, uh, which was Spent the Day in Bed, uh, which I really enjoyed that song as well. Um, but yeah, it seems like a lot of people like this song. And uh, I mean, yeah, especially just not even talking lyrically, just for the music, just for the sound. Uh, it just sounds beautiful. And it just sounds great. I mean, yeah, that's all you can really say. I need a drink. Anyway, um, <laughs> gotta stay hydrated. Uh, but moving on here to genius, like I usually do, there is no about, uh, which is different, but there are many annotations on the song. Uh, but also, I was seeing here, uh, it talks about, it says there was an earlier version of the song written by Morrissey and Alan White. Uh, it appears to have been recorded and shelved circa 2003. So apparently, you know, and that's one of the things, you know, with many musicians, which is interesting, interesting, uh, you know, people start a song and it's just, it takes them, it can take them years to finish it. And uh, that's, I guess that's another one of these cases. And by this time, I don't think White was even in the band, at, in the band at this point or whatever, when it was finally, you know, released. Um, but anyway, uh, moving on here with the first verse, you know, talking uh, when he says, I have seen many shores, I hugged the land, but nothing more because I haven't met you I've whined and I've dined. And when he said whined, I was <laughs> I was thinking, like, does he mean, like, you know, whined, like, cry or whatever, or just, you know, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, not just, you know, whine, uh, whined and dined. But anyway, um, <laughs> with everybody, bogus uh, uh, mu music mogul, good Lord, mogul, no sign of you. I've brushed and I've rubbed, pressing palms, ex uh, exuding charms, uh, but never in arms. And, you know, I mean, just to take this at face value, I mean, yeah, talking about... He's met with a lot of people, you know, obviously he was, you know, quite the uh, like figure, I guess you would say, in music. Uh, so I can see that happening. Uh, but just for some annotations here, I guess just straight from the start. Uh, so it says Morrissey has toured the world, but feels the relationship with those countries is superficial. Morrissey's uh, celibate and sober attitude to intimacy recognizes the limits of a relationship a hug represents. Morrissey is both figuratively and literally embraces tour venues. Uh, it goes on and on, uh, but his true home continues to elude him. Uh, and I mean, the whole thing, home is a question mark. I mean, that's the, the title of the song. So yeah, uh, you know, and then we go on. The person to Morrissey addresses the song manifests as an erotic embodiment of what home is. He has yet to meet them because the meaning of home remains uh, necessarily ambiguous. So again, talking about, you know, the whole thing, uh, I haven't found my home or whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, they're talking about, you know, how erotic or whatever, obviously with the last verse there, uh, you know, the whole where he, and especially the last note, like I said, where he just like goes very high, you know, he finishes off, uh, the song, you know, with a, a big bang. And it's just like, you know, that's almost like, you know, the whole crescendo thing. That's almost like a sexual, you know, climax thing. But anyway, uh, with the chorus here, and, <laughs> and that's why home is a question mark. Home is someplace I don't know, or I don't know, as it says here, D-U-N-O-N-O, D-U-N-N-O. -N -N I felt like I didn't say that right the first time. Home is a question mark. Uh, home is a place I don't know. Um, <laughs> so it goes on here, though. Uh, it talks about with an annotation here. And again, Morrissey, I mean, <laughs> uh, if you've 
obviously people watching this have followed Morrissey and especially with his comments, uh, you know, recently, not really recently, but his comments for, you know, his views. Um, but for this uh, annotation, it says, you know, the theme of a nation lost that runs through both the song and an album reflects on Morrissey's views and multiculturalism on multiculturalism, I feel like I can't talk, which he has expressed in a recent interview. Uh, it goes on with newspaper uh, Spiegel, a uh, German newspaper Spiegel. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, it says Spiegel. He said, uh, but you live in the U.S., which emerged in its current form because people came from everywhere. Morris, he said, every single country has its history of revolutions and liberation. Other countries do not have your story. It's not easy to connect that. When people immigrate, they bring their religion and their customs with them, and they try to establish establish them. And there begins the confusion. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, just talking about, you know, given that at face value, what Morris, he said there. Uh, and again, this being the whole thing about the, you know, the song. And again, talking about, you know, for the album, you know. Uh, you know, the whole, his, cause again, his whole deal is, you know, talking about, you know, multiculturalism and finding his home and, you know, the whole England thing, uh, and, <laughs> uh, talking about England and, you know, I know, uh, he's Irish as well. Uh, I mean, there's that song, you know, Irish blood, English heart, I think it was, or maybe it was, in, yeah, I think your English blood, Irish heart. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but you know, <laughs> he's always been talking about, uh, countries and such, and I mean, immigration, whatever. Uh, so yeah, there's the quote there from him. Um, and then we go on with the second verse. I have been brave, deep in every shaven cave. Uh, none were you another film on replay this time. <laughs> Hell with Guillaume Canet uh, for wingless me. Um, and it goes on again, you know, talking about, uh, with, you know, the annotation, you know, uh, the symbolism of the shaven cave is clear. Uh, its sheer nature represents an unnatural state of existence, which Morsi equates with living in a foreign country <laughs> and separation from one's homeland. So again, talking about, you know, the whole home thing, um, which I mean, again, yeah, that's the whole song. Good Lord. Uh, and then of course we come to the bridge home is just a word, or is it something you can carry within you? Uh, and I mean, he's getting a little, uh, philosophical here. Uh, Morrissey continues to, and asks if the question of the home is merely semantic or if it transcends semantics and exists as something in of itself. Um, and it goes on, you know, I'm just happy to be here <laughs> if I ever find home, if I ever find home, uh, which I like those lyrics there. And then we have the outro, of course, if I get there, would you meet me? And then these lines, wrap your legs around my face just to greet me. If I ever get there, would you meet me? Wrap your legs around my face just to greet me. So then it says, you know, the song climaxes with an explosive and overt sexual image, which represents the final reconciliation of a person with their homeland, uh, which I guess I kind of said earlier, you know, how... The climax, it's kind of, it is kind of, you know, a sexual climax, you know, you know, uh, orgasm, you know, it's orgasmic at the end here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so uh, as that annotation says as well, uh, yeah. And then the, uh, and then the end of it there with the last annotation, how many times I've saved myself. And then of course, how he finishes off the song, you know, with that myself, you know, high note, uh, which was very nice to hear. Morrissey calls back to all the times he's saved himself waiting for the right person to come along. This was a strong theme in early Smith's lyrics. For example, pretty girls make graves and these things take time. So yeah, again, you know, he's always been kind of uh, writing, not always, I guess, writing about the same thing, but, you know, he goes back to these themes and he goes back, even though it's been so many years, you know, it's been since the 19, you know, early 1980s, you know, he's still, he's still on these subjects and he still talks about it and, uh, you know, writes about these subjects and talks about, you know, how many times I've saved myself and, you know, where's my home and all this stuff. Um, so yeah, anyway, you know, like I said, uh, <laughs> with, you know, Morrissey's comments, you know, and I know, you know, people either hate him or like him or whatever. Uh, I just really appreciate the music and, uh, yeah, so I'm just <laughs> happy to he be here for every Morrissey Friday. He does, I mean, with his comments, there was a professor I had in university and he got fired. Uh, <laughs> it was the easiest class I've ever taken. Uh, but I mean, a lot of what Morrissey says is what, uh, he reminds me of what my professor would tell me uh, for sociology classes I had with him and where he would talk about multi uh, multiculturalism, if I can say it. And uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. But he, and he, uh, again, it was an easy class to take. It was just an easy A. Uh, but uh, his, some of his talks were very uh, long and convoluted and stuff. But uh, anyway, Morrissey. Uh, you know, he gets better with age, you know, like a fine wine, you know, and, uh, yeah, another good song here. And, uh, I can see why a lot of people like it, uh, from the album, why it's one of the, a lot of people's favorites. So anyway, 
Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that stuff. Really appreciate all the support. And I will talk to you guys again soon. And my glasses are fogging up. I don't know. Very hot in my room or something.